This 76ers Hornets trade is centered around Ben Simmons, Gordon Hayward. There weren't as many big trades this offseason in the NBA as many people had thought there would be. Trade rumors persisted that NBA All-Stars could be on the move, but the biggest trade that occurred was Russell Westbrook heading to the Los Angeles Lakers. Damian Lillard and Bradley Beal remained with their respective teams and don't look like they will be on the move anytime soon. The same cannot be said about Ben Simmons, who looks like he will be the next big name player on the move via trade sooner than later. The relationship between Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers is beyond repair. Simmons has officially requested a trade from the 76ers, which may complicate their negotiations. Daryl Morey doesn't have much bargaining power if everyone around the league knows that Simmons will be on the move sooner than later. Earlier this offseason, he was asking for the moon in proposed deals to the Golden State Warriors, San Antonio Spurs, and Toronto Raptors, but that price will have to come down. Plenty of teams around the league will show interest in a trade for Ben Simmons, but figuring out what it may cost to land him is anyone's guess. Will it be a salary dump of sorts, as their bargaining power is gone? Or will they be able to exact some value from this deal? The Charlotte Hornets could get into the foray now that a trade demand has been issued. Let's take a look at what a swap between the two teams would look like. Philadelphia 76ers received Gordon Hayward first round pick. Charlotte Hornets received Ben Simmons. It would be shocking to see a trade like this go down between the Philadelphia 76ers and Charlotte Hornets for a few reasons. For starters, the package that the 76ers are receiving for him. It was suggested as a hypothetical deal at Bleacher Report, it is difficult to envision this gaining traction. Given the offers that the 76ers have presented to other teams, this isn't close to what they are looking for. Malcolm Brogdon and the number 13 overall pick, which Philadelphia declined earlier in the offseason, would present better value than this. Hayward's inability to stay on the court should be a non-starter from the 76ers' perspective. Hayward averaged 19.6 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 4.1 assists per game last season, which are excellent numbers. But, he appeared in only 44 games, giving him 97 regular season appearances since the conclusion of the 2016-2017 season. That is just not going to cut it. Even if the first round pick going to Philadelphia from Charlotte could be guaranteed to be the number one overall pick, this isn't a deal that would interest the 76ers very much. Hayward is a solid playmaker, but they would be lacking a starting point guard on the roster. If this is truly the best offer that the 76ers can muster for Ben Simmons, they misread these negotiations as poorly as they could have. What do Charlotte and Philadelphia think of a deal like this? Let's take a look. Why Charlotte Hornets make this trade? The Charlotte Hornets have never been a popular destination for free agents. They had Kemba Walker playing at an all-star level for eight years but could never build a competitive roster around him, making the playoffs only twice. So, if they are going to improve the ceiling of the roster, trades are the only viable route to take. In this scenario, they break through the ceiling with the addition of Ben Simmons in a trade. Simmons isn't Hayward's scorer, but he is an all-world defender, elite playmaker, and excellent rebounder. The Hornets are a much more dangerous team with him in the fold. At 25 years old, Simmons is closer to Thornett's timeline than Gordon Hayward is. Hayward isn't getting any younger, and already 32 years old with an extensive injury history, it is hard to imagine him getting healthier in the future. As pointed out by Zach Buckley in the Bleacher Report piece, Simmons would need to be willing to accept a position change to the front court. Charlotte already has a long-term piece in place at the point guard spot in LaMelo Ball, so a move to the front court would be beneficial for the Hornets. Teams would have a difficult time slowing down a ball Simmons pick and roll attack. It would be a lot of fun seeing the Hornets in transition with those two leading the way throwing alley-oop passes to Miles Bridges. The addition of a single first-round pick is an easy enough price to pay. This is essentially a salary dump for the Hornets, yet they are coming away with the better player. If they can land Simmons for only Gordon Hayward and a first-round pick their front office deserves major praise. Why Philadelphia 76ers make this trade? The Philadelphia 76ers have lofty expectations for a return for Ben Simmons in any trade scenario. It is unclear how the team views Gordon Hayward, but he does check quite a few boxes that make him at least an intriguing possibility to ponder. The obvious difference between Simmons and Hayward starts with perimeter shooting willingness and ability. 
Hayward is coming off a season where he shot 41.5% from beyond the arc on an average of 4.7 attempts per game. Alongside Joel Embiid, the floor would open up significantly instead of deploying Simmons often in the dunker spot during post-ups. The 76ers must do what it takes to make it as difficult as possible for the opposition to send double teams to Embiid when he's attacking in the post in isolation. Ha! Huh. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.